Good afternoon. This is Dorothy Simon sitting in this afternoon for Jim Lakey. And today is Wednesday, June the 19th. And this is Cable Channel 3. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org. sandylandcenter.org. And the weather conditions for this area, there still remains a, a great threat of um, thunderstorms and hail for the Midwest area. The, the primary threat is being, being very windy, damaging winds, and large hail storms and thunder because of the change in the temperatures. But right now in the square, it is a beautiful 83 degrees. Feels very, very nice. And today's high, it should be right at 86 degrees. And later on this evening, the low should be at 868, still though with some isolated thunderstorms and rain. Tomorrow's outlook looks like a 30% chance of rain with winds at 26 miles per hour and a high of 96 and a low of 71. Friday looks pretty much the same, rather windy, um, but partly cloudy with a high of 95 and a low of 70 and winds right at 25 miles per hour. Today's birthday, we want to wish Tara Nelson a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Tara, and if you see her, make sure you wish her that too. And then tomorrow, we want to wish Melvin Gray a happy birthday. Happy birthday. We've been talking about the community workshop to be held tomorrow uh, at, this, at the um, Senior Center. It's a workshop uh, for the visually impaired. It starts at 9.30 and promises to go on until 10.30. It's been sponsored by the Prairie Independent Living Center. And they will bring different equipment and household items and show you how to effectively use these items if you have blindness, low vision, and any, any way in visually impaired. So be sure if you need that information coming out at 9 to 10.30 and they promise to serve coffee and cookies. It should be a very useful morning. And please continue to support the young people um, as they read this summer. Support the Friends of the Library um, with their um, summer reading program. It's Dig Into Reading. And if you pardon the pun, they'll be digging, digging up dinos on June the 26th. So they're digging into reading and they're digging up not dinos. That will be their book review on June the 26th. So do encourage the young people to come out and read. There's just absolutely nothing like reading books and enjoying the books. I remember those days very well um, as a child growing up. And on July the 11th, they will talk about extinction, how these large dinosaurs and mammals happen to become extinct. All very interesting and informative. And with these hot summer days i'm sure you don't want to do too much cooking so you can go over to the senior centers the one in maxville today is serving up beef strong enough with noodles spinach bread and angel cake and tomorrow they'll be serving up roast beef sweet potato oriental vegetables and rolls and a frosted lime gelatin salad and on Friday, they will serve spaghetti with sauce, green beans, tossed salad, and a peach crisp at the Maxwell Center. And over at our Sandyland Center, they will be serving um, ham, sweet potatoes, green beans, a vegetable salad, and an orange cake. And Thursday, they will serve some roast beef, potato casserole, mixed vegetable, a spinach salad, 
and a pie. And on Friday, they will serve ham and beans, fried tater tots, carrots, jello, and a fruit crisp. So, do use the centers for some good, healthy eating. And of a food for thought or, or thought for the day, it says the measure of our real character is what you would do if you knew you would never be found out. The measure of a man's real character is what he would do if he knew what he would never be found out. So think about that. Thank you and have a good afternoon and enjoy the nice weather.